Greetings everybody. So today I'm going to talk about how you can set up lighting for your home theater. I'm going to go over the different style of lights you can use and one that you can even make yourself. Plus I'm going to show you how you can put those lights in a routine to make your life a little bit easier when it's time to watch a movie and when the movie's over. So stay tuned for all of that coming up next. Now let's start off with the type of lights that you're going to put behind the TV. Now if the TV is mounted on the wall like this TV that you see behind me, you pretty much only have one choice and that is to use LED strips. If your TV is mounted on a TV stand, then you have more choices, which includes the LED strips or the U play lights like I have behind the back of my TV, or you can use some small projected lamps that, you know, will shine on the wall or some desk lamps, which all of those comes with a different price criteria. The most expensive choice is going to be the U play lights, but the most important requirement is to make sure that you can control it to your voice assistant, because without that, you won't be able to set up any routine and this last part of the video is not going to do you any good. But let me explain the desk lamp scenario or the spotlight scenario. So what you can do as far as that's concerned, because that's probably going to be your low cost option. The LED strips can be your low cost option too, but if you decide to go with the lamps design like I'm talking about, then you want to get some low cost bulbs. Now those bulbs doesn't have to be the Philips U bulbs. You can get some regular multicolor changing bulbs as long as, like I said, they control to your voice assistant. It could be Wi-Fi bulbs, it could be hub connected, it doesn't really matter. And when you choose your lights, if it's the strips, you're going to line it up behind the back of the TV, so it's pretty much going to go from the top, left, right, and probably the bottom. If you go with the Philips Play or the desk lamp style setup, then you want to make sure you have one on each side of the TV pointing towards the wall. So take a look at how I have mine set up. So I have one on the left side of the back of the TV and one on the right side on the back of the TV. And as you can see, I have the left one pointed out a little bit towards the left more and the right one pointed out a little bit more to the right to give you that little bit of light just shooting out to the side instead of directly behind the TV. But you can set yours up the way that you like it. You might want most of the light going towards the back of the TV instead of shooting out to the side. Now, if you go with the LED strips, you're going to get more light shooting from the top and the sides and the bottom because those strips are going to go all over the back of the TV. And if you go with a desk lamp style setup, then that's going to be pretty much like the Philips play. So you can angle those the way you like them too. So those are my recommended choice of the kind of lights that you can get for your home theater setup. Now I'm going to leave links in the description to these lights and some desktop style lamps that you can get to put behind your TV if you want to go that route. So make sure you scroll down after the video and check out those links. So next I want to go into step by steps of setting up the routines to control these bulbs. But before I do that, I want to talk about any other lights that you have in your living room or wherever you have your TV set up. So if you have any other lamps that's sitting probably on a nightstand or one of those tall stand up lamps like I have, you can also include those into the routine. Just make sure you get a color change in bulbs for those lamps too. And if you have any lights mounted in the ceiling, like a fan lamp or any other lights that you have in that viewing area, you might want to consider getting color changing bulbs for those light fixtures, or you can just turn them off completely so they won't mess up your routine. So now let's get into making those routines. Now there's going to be two different style of routine. One is going to dim the lights down when it's time to watch a movie and one is going to brighten up the lights when the movie is over. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go into the app. Once you get into the app, of course, you know you go over to the left, the three lines, and then you want to click on routines and then you want to create a new routine. So you got to click the plus sign and then you got to name it. So we're going to say Showtime. Just give it any kind of name that you want to give it. I'm just going to call it showtime for this routine next and then you want to click when this happened you want to choose a voice and this is where you enter whatever command that you would like to say to her to let her know to dim those lights down so i'm just going to use showtime i'm just going to use the same name to keep it simple next and now is where i apply all the actions to control those lights so I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to go all the way down to Smart Home. I'm going to click Lights. 
and then I'm gonna scroll down till I find the lights. There it is, the U Play Lights L65. That's the one on the left. Next, I wanted the power on, and I want the brightness to come down to, well, you can choose whatever you want to. I'm gonna leave mine at 50%, and then the color is your choice. I'm gonna go with blue. Then I'm gonna click Save. Then next, and now that first action is already done. So now I want to add the second play light, which is the one on the right. So I'm going to click the plus sign again, stroll all the way down to a smart home, lights, all the way down again till I find that particular light, and there it is, U Play R65. Then I'm going to click next. I wanted the power on, I want the brightness, same amount, and this color, I'm going to change it to blue also. Now you can mix match lights if you want to. You can have one blue, one purple, one red, whatever color that you'd like it to be. So it's your choice. I'm going to keep it simple by just going with blue. And I'm going to click save, and then I'm going to click next. And now I have these two lights controlled with just this one command of saying showtime. But I also have a floor standing lamp right behind my seat. So I'm going to add that in there also. So I'm going to click the plus sign one more time. I'm going to go down to Smart Home, Lights. And then I'm going to stroll down till I find Living Room Lamp. There it is right there. Next, I want it to power on. And then I'm going to set the brightness. And you can adjust these brightness to whatever brightness that you want to be. I just start mine at 50% just to keep the routine simple. So now I'm going to choose my color. So I'm going to select color. I'm going to scroll all the way down till I find blue. There it is. Save. Next. And now all my lights are set to come on by using the command showtime. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there because that's all the lights I have in my viewing area. And now that routine is set and ready to go. Okay, so now we have to set up one for when the movie's over with to bring the lights back up. So what we're going to do is hit the plus sign again. We're going to add a name to the routine. So we're going to call this credits because that's what you usually see at the end of a movie. Next. And then we're going to say when this happened, we want to use voice. And then we're going to use the same word again, credits. Next. And then we're going to add our actions, which is the lights. So we're going to click action. We're going to go down to smart home. Lights. Go all the way down till I find the Philips play. Next. We're not going to worry about power because it's going to be already on. So we're going to go down to brightness. So we're going to set the brightness to about 90, somewhere around there. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. And then we're going to set the color to a warm white color because we don't want it bright. Because coming from a dim environment to an extra bright environment can be painful to the eye. So we're going to say warm white. And then we're going to click save. And now that routine is set. So we're going to click next. And we're going to do the same thing for the other lights. So we're going to click plus, smart home, lights, find the U light, which is the right. I think I passed it. There it is. Then we're going to click next. Then we're not going to worry about power. We're going to go down to brightness. We're going to change the brightness to 90 like we did the other light. We're going to set the color to warm white, and then we're going to click save. So now we got these two lights set up to come up to a warm white at 90%. So I'm going to add the lamp into that also by hitting the plus sign, stroll down, smart home, lights, living room lamp, there it is, next, brightness, let's put that to somewhere around the same amount, 90%, there you go, set the color, warm white, save, next. So now when the movie's over with and I say credits, it's gonna bring up all the lights to a warm white at 90%. So all I have to do now is click save and this routine is set and ready to go. So it's that simple to set up the routine to control those lights. 
So if you have any additional lights that you want to add to this routine, you can add them now or you can add them later on down the road if you decide to get them later. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to show you how you can set up a routine to control all your lights and just dim them down so you can have a pleasurable movie experience and how to bring them back up when the movie's over but not blind yourself out. You know, you got to bring up the lights gentle. So you always want to choose a warm light. And depending on how much you want to spend, I gave you three choices of the kind of lights that you can get to create your home theater lighting. All right, so if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it down there in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as possible. So I want to thank you for taking the time for watching this video. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.